Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jikoni with Connect. On this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make beef smoky stew with a side of spaghetti and salad. All these ingredients are available on Connect Food Plus in the link down below. Let's get cooking! We have three dishes to make and the one we are going to start with is the beef stew. To prepare your stew, you're going to require one packet of beef smokies, three diced tomatoes, two diced onions, a bunch of coriander, oil, salt to taste, and your curry powder and turmeric. Put your heat on low. We put about a teaspoon or two of the oil. Make sure your oil is evenly spread on your pan and let it heat up. Once the oil is evenly spread on your pan, you can now add in your diced onions after the oil is heated up. It's now golden brown as you can see. Now you can add in the beef smokies. Stir it well until you see the bits and pieces of the chopped onions on the beef smoking. Let them cook for about two minutes. Then now we can add our other ingredients. We will now add in a teaspoon of salt. In each process and with every ingredient that you add, you need to stir consistently. As you can see, the beef smokies are becoming a little bit brown and that's what we need now it's time to add in one cup of water before now adding other dry ingredients or powdery ingredients like our curry powder and our turmeric when you add in your water and you hear that sizzling sound you know that the temperature is right to now start adding other ingredients after one minute of letting it simmer now that our other ingredients are simmering we can add in our curry powder about two teaspoonfuls you can stir it now and as you can see the stew is getting a little bit thicker the more you let it simmer and add in your ingredients step by step let it simmer for about 30 seconds before adding in your turmeric all these spices that i'm adding the curry powder and turmeric is to give it taste and just make it um, better than it would have been if you had just salt water and your tomatoes and onions now you can let it simmer and then after that, we will add in our diced tomatoes. So this will give it color and also help with the thickening of the stew. After three minutes, you can now stir it vigorously. Now the tomatoes are very soft. The final step is adding in or garnishing your stew with coriander and now we can set it aside and move on to the next recipe process we are moving on to our second dish and that is spaghetti for spaghetti we are going to need two cups of water one packet of spaghetti, salt to taste, margarine to make it soft, and that will be it. Put your pan on low heat, then now add in your two cups of water. Once the water has boiled, you can now add in one spoonful of salt. Proceed to adding in two scoops of margarine. Let it simmer for a while 
until the margarine is melted. Then proceed to adding in your spaghetti. We will add in our spaghetti. You can add it in bits and you're not going to break it. We need to add it when it's whole. Don't worry if it's poking out because the more it soaks in the water, the more it will sit right in your pan. It's melting and will fit in the pan just right. You've added in your two cups of hot boiling water, added in your spaghetti. It has cooked for around three minutes and now it's ready to be removed, served in a bowl so that people can now eat. The final dish is our salad and we are going to need half chopped cabbage, two grated carrots and one sliced cucumber with a little bit of salt for taste. Make sure you've washed your vegetables very well and you've washed your hands very well. This is to avoid contaminating your food and in the end getting sick. Now add in your grated carrots. Then mix it with your hands so that it can be even. Once it's mixed and you're satisfied with the outcome, you can add in a pinch of salt, then continue mixing. The final step will be decorating it with your cucumber. All our three meals are set and ready to be eaten. All the ingredients were bought under 400 Kenya shillings. This is ideal for our Sunday brunch. Three to four people, that would be enough. Watch out for the next episode so we can start cooking.